Today, I will recap the movie The Harder They Fall 2021 film for you. Nat Love, a young kid of just 11, is having dinner with his mom and dad. Suddenly, the bad guys, Rufus Buck and his sidekick Cortez, show up. Nat's dad tries really hard to convince Buck to leave his family alone, but Buck, being the villain that he is, doesn't listen. He does something terrible. He shoots Nat's parents right in front of him and then, as if that wasn't enough, marks Nat with a cross on his forehead. Fast forward 20 years and Nat is all grown up. He hasn't forgotten what happened that night. He's been carrying that anger and sadness with him all this time. So he goes on a mission and finally gets his revenge on Cortez. But that's not the end of the story. Nat's friends, Bill Pickett and Jim Beckworth, are like the coolest guys you'd want on your team. Bill is an amazing shot, and Jim can draw his gun faster than you can blink. They take on the Crimson Hood gang, a bunch of bad guys who just robbed a bank and take all their stolen money. But here's the twist. The money they stole actually belongs to the villain from Nat's past, Rufus Buck. Now, Nat decides it's time to visit someone from his past, Mary Fields, who's pretty awesome herself. She runs a whole bunch of saloons, making her a big deal in the Wild West. Meanwhile, Bill comes rushing to Nat with news about their daring robbery. So picture this. Nat, with a scar from his childhood and a heart-seeking justice, is about to face his path with his brave friends by his side and a storm brewing. It's like something straight out of a Wild West adventure. A group of outlaws with two tough leaders named Trudy Smith and Cherokee Bill. They pull off an incredible rescue to free their boss, Buck, from a moving train. But there's a twist. Buck is supposed to be free because he got a pardon. Their job also includes taking down some bad soldiers who were supposed to be guarding Buck. Once they get rid of the guards, Buck and his crew make their way to a place called Redwood City. It used to be their hangout, but now it's under the control of Buck's old friend, Sheriff Wiley Esco. Buck finds out Esco has been up to no good, making money by being unfair to the townspeople. Buck is really angry and makes Esco leave the town, but Buck's got bigger plans. He gathers all the people in the town and tells them they need to come up with $50,000 to save Redwood. He makes it clear that anyone who doesn't help will face serious trouble. Meanwhile, there's a hero in this story, Nat Love. He finds himself in a tough spot in a saloon, caught by a U.S. Marshal named Bass Reeve. But instead of trouble, Reeves gives Nat some surprising news. Buck is free and back in action. Reeves thinks it's Nat's chance to get back at Buck for old times' sake. Nat's team gets bigger when Mary Fields and her tough buddy, Cuffy, decide they want in on the action. Their journey leads them to Esco, who's seen better days. He lets slip that Buck has taken over Redwood again. Mary Fields, a brave and smart lady, decides to sneak into a place called Redwood. She pretends she wants to buy a saloon owned by a person named Smith. Meanwhile, Nat Love, our hero, asks Mary to marry him, but she says no. When Mary gets to Redwood, Smith captures her and treats her very badly. Hearing about Mary's trouble, Nat and his friends rush to Redwood to save her. In a bold move, Nat lets himself be captured too, just to be with Mary and try to protect her. Smith decides to hurt Nat as well, and then tells him that the only way Mary can go free is if Nat gives back the money he took before, plus an extra $10,000 as a sort of penalty. To do this, Nat and his friend Cuffy have to rob a bank in a town where everyone is white. They manage to do it without hurting anyone and make their escape. But Nat and his gang know that Smith and Buck, the big boss, probably won't let Mary go just like that. So they come up with a clever plan involving a wagon full of dynamite as a trick. When they get back to Redwood, they set off the dynamite, which takes out some of Buck's crew. As Nat is about to hand over the money, things get really tense. Cherokee Bill, one of the bad guys, tries to sneak up on Nat with a gun, but Jim Beckworth, one of Nat's friends, steps in and challenges Bill to a quick draw duel. Unfortunately, Bill cheats and shoots Jim before the countdown ends, and suddenly, everyone starts shooting. 
Nat Love, along with his friends Reeves, Pickett, and Cuffy, become heroes in a big showdown. They face off against Buck's bad guys, and then during the chaos, a lot of money gets blown up by accident. In a sneaky move, Esco tries to stop Buck at his own house, but ends up losing the fight. Meanwhile, Mary Fields shows what she's made of by freeing herself with Cuffy's help, and then going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Smith. She proves she's not someone to mess with by winning the fight, but things take a sad turn when Pickett gets hurt from behind by Bill. Luckily, Cuffy steps up and wins a super fast gun draw against Bill, saving the day. Then there's a big moment between Nat and Buck. Buck drops a huge surprise. They are actually brothers, sharing the same dad who had a pretty dark past. Buck tells Nat that all the trouble he caused was actually to get back at their dad through Nat. This revelation hits Nat hard, but he knows what he has to do. With a heavy heart, Nat ends the feud with Buck, showing him respect even in such a tough moment. After the dust settles, Nat and his friends have a quiet ceremony for Pickett and Beckworth, marking a grave for Nat too, but it's really for Buck. This is their way of telling the world. Nat Love is no longer around, keeping his legend alive in their own way. Cuffy becomes a deputy, ready for new adventures, and rides off with Reeves, while Nat and Mary Fields go their own way, looking forward to what's next. In the end, a mysterious woman watches them, leaving us wondering who she might be and what stories are yet to be told.